Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Karen from Kushala Yoga. Now, in today's meditation practice, we'll be working with metta meditation, which loosely translated is meditation on loving kindness. Now, um, in mindfulness meditation or uh, vipassana meditation, you're just allowing whatever to arise, arise, and noticing. And in this practice, your the goal is slightly different, or there is a goal. And it is to cultivate a certain quality of attitude, in this case, loving kindness. Now, in the practice, I'll offer a few phrases that you can say, whether it's internally to yourself or if you are practicing alone, you can certainly say them out loud. But to, to support the, um, the, the, as mentioned, the cultivation of, of this attitude. It's important that you do find a comfortable seat. Um, it can be in a chair. I use a meditation bench, or you could be seated on the ground or on a prop. Just ensure that you are, are comfortable. And take your time to ensure, again, that you take a seat where you can feel that your spine and your hips are supported, your body is supported. Just allow your shoulders to draw a little closer towards your spine so your chest opens here. And you're invited to either keep your eyes open with a gaze that's just downcast a few feet in front of you, or close your eyes very softly. The placement of your hands, again, intentional. It can be on your thighs, palms down or palms up. You could take a mudra with your fingers, bringing your thumb and index very gently to touch if you'd like. And with your lips softly closed and your teeth having a little space behind them, so your jaw is relaxed, start to Take slightly deeper breaths. And just arrive here. And you may notice that your attention does wander a little. And that's okay. But do try to just gather those kind of fragments of attention and bring them back to you. Now in your mind's eye, I'd like you to pick someone who you just generally have a, a good relationship with, an affinity for, a, a like, and bring that person into, into your mind's eye. Now before going any further, this, um, this person, the relationship should be uncomplicated. So if you're in um, a romantic relationship with this person, uh, if it's a boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse, Pick someone else for this, um, for this particular meditation. There is sometimes some complexity around romantic involvement, and we don't want to um, involve any grasping um, or a attachment practices here. This is a decidedly non-attachment practice. So once you've got this person in your mind's eye, you're essentially wishing very intentionally for them to be well, to be happy, to have all the things that the world, the universe has to offer to that end. And it helps to pick a phrase or a couple of phrases, and I'll offer a couple, just to repeat to yourself, but project it outwards to this person. So you can use phrases like, I wish you to be happy, or may you be happy. May you be free from sickness or suffering. And with this person, whether it's just a snapshot that you brought into your mind's eye, or where you can, or you can hold a consistent image of this person, say these phrases wholeheartedly to, to them. Wishing very sincerely these things.
may notice that your attention, even though directed towards this person, but does still wander. And if you just notice that you've been lost in thought or the connection to the image of this person has been severed, maybe the mantra, the inner mantra has also ceased. Just relax and start again. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. And now you might bring an image of this person receiving your well wishes. Maybe there's a smile on their face. And they are truly happy in your mind's eye. couple the smile you see on the face of this chosen person with a, a literal smile on your face, just gently turning the corners of your mouth up. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy and free from suffering. These are genuine wishes, genuine desires that you have for this other person. The fact that you're even practicing is a direct reflection of this desire.
this practice, we're attempting to step out of our normal, habitual patterns of thought and emotion, oftentimes that lead us to grasp and want and feel lack. For a genuine attitude of love, support, and kindness for another. May you be happy and free from suffering. Now in the last few moments of the practice, I'd like you to turn those phrases or direct them to yourself. Because again, this practice, just in doing this practice, is a reflection or an indication that you do truly want these things for yourself as you do for this other person. And sometimes it's just a little easier to direct these thoughts and emotions outward before redirecting them inward. But you too deserve to be happy, healthy and free. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. so much for practicing.